What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we have another Archon Vault Tour game. This is number two from day one of the Archon Vault Tour held at Gen Con 2019. On the left we have Justin, on the right we have Kristen. If you want to check out their deck list, they are in the description below on YouTube. You can click there to head on over to the Master Vault. Yeah, it sounds like Justin's going dis here. Drops down a Snudge. Great first turn card. Love it. But then <laughs> Bouncing Death Quark on the other side. Christian just pops him. He is gone. And drops down Igor. Looks at the top three cards of his deck. He's going to choose one. Discard the other two. Ooh, we see he tossed away an Archimedes there. So a Wild Wormhole. Takes an Amber. And gets a Golden Aura. Just kind of wasted. And we have a Professor Slurrican on the right. Then a lab work for an Amber. Archives a card. So Justin drops down a Witch of the Eye. Followed by a Niffle Ape. And interestingly, in Justin's deck, he has two, uh, too much to protect. I see that here on his deck list. Got double regrowth in there too. That's nice. And his untamed lineup, he's got a. We see the Witch of the Eye. He's got a Hunting Witch in there, a Dust Pixie, which is great. So he's going to do a troop call, but just for the Amber, he has one Niffle Ape in the deck. So I like that Christian's playing in an Age of Ascension deck here in this Archon tournament against Justin playing a Call of the Archons deck. And no shadows in the uh, Age of Ascension deck. Alright, so we got Obeyed the Grim coming in to do some capture there. Just gets one, then we have free markets. Gaining a couple Amber. And then a Smite will ready and fight with Obeyed the Grim. And it should deal to yeah, dealt two damage there to the Niffle Ape. I knew, I knew it had some neighbor damage effect going on there. So. What's that? I think I'll allow the lock. You can probably use that as your advantage. I don't know yet. Oh god, yeah. Um, I feel like this lock is way too long. Yeah. I'm gonna go shadows. So we got an Urchin here on a Shadow's turn, stealing one. Oh, we got a Fagin deck here. I didn't see that on the list there. Double Urchins, two Fagins. We got a Miasma in there also. And a Snecklifter. We have Igor, again, another Igor. Getting rid of an International Graph there is one of the cards. Takes a Rocket Boots onto Professor Sutterkin. Oh no. So he reaps the Professor Sutterkin, draws three cards, raises them back up off the Rocket Boots. He'll reap again. Draw three more. Well, looks like he didn't draw any more Logos creatures he can slap on the board there to just increase that second one. There's Pip Pip. He got one, though. Probably on the second draw. And Igor is going to reap again, putting Christian into check. And as it ends of the turn with a load of cards in hand. So Pip Pip being out there will cause any of Justin's creatures who reap to be stunned. He doesn't want to go Shadows, but he does want to get Christian off a key. So he may be forced to go Shadows here and just do the Fagin, Bounce and Urchin back business, stealing an Amber. But, I mean, that doesn't really progress his game too much. Especially if he's not playing any cards out of hand. So, so you got to decide. Keep Slow your opponent down a little bit or progress your game as most likely where he's at here. He's going to go Untamed. And he's going to fight Sutterkin with the Niffle Ape. And there's Snufflegator on the left flank. 
And we got a regrowth. So you can return a creature from his discard pile to his hand. He's going to get the Witch of the Eye. And throw her out on the right flank there. And Christian gets his first key here. And he says Brobnar takes his archives. Sound the horns time. Gets an amber. Oh, he's got another Stutterkin there on the top of his deck. And he gets that uh, alpha creature, so he can't even play it. He has a second sound the horns, gets a drummer knot. And he gets an amber off that. Pile of skulls is now in play, so anytime he destroys a creature, he'll be able to capture one. I don't know if it's just friendly Brobnars. Yeah, no, each time an enemy creature is destroyed during your turn, a friendly creature captures one. And we see Grok, and now Gengar Chieftain coming in on the right flank there. We got Kulf the Quiet on the left flank. So Grok's going to fight Snufflegator, and it'll force Justin to lose an Amber. But then he captured one, which he shouldn't be able to capture one. But I guess he chose to capture instead. Not sure how that worked there, but. So he's got some dice here to track the Drummer Knot Ganger Chieftain business. So Drummernaut will ready and fight. Fight the Hunting Witch. No Amber to capture off Pile of Skulls. Ganger Chieftain will bounce back to hand. He's going to play him back out. Drummernaut's going to fight into Urchin, which is elusive. So Drummernaut sticks around. And Urchin's dead. Drummernaut should go up to 4 damage. Yep. Ganger comes back in for the fifth time. Drummernaut ready to fight into Elusive. So Fagan will take out the Drummernaut in a fight there. And doesn't trigger the Ganger Chieftain to go back since Drummernaut died there. So he clears his opponent's board. And we see a Foozle up there on the right flank. So nice Brobnar plays there from Christian. He got the Flood of Brobnar. So he gets Pile of Skulls, destroyed off a of Poltergeist. Display here by Justin. Gets an Amber for that play. And a Gateway to Dis! Wiping the whole board here, gaining three chains. <laughs> Love it. Got a little worried there when Christian got that board built up. Uh, Justin has no chance, but here he goes. We got a Terror coming in, an Ember Imp. So Christian will only be able to play two cards a turn until that Ember Imp is gone. Christian going Bromnar again here. You got that Alpha. What's that guy called? Uh, Garganti Scraper. If you have three or more Amber, deal three damage to a creature when it gets played, but no dice. Gong Goozle. Or, sorry, hit Bingle Bang Bang. And that Scraper going back to hand there off a Lights Out. Now the Thief on the right flank. And Justin continuing to lose chains here uh, before he draws up. One left, I believe. Harder than they come. Gets rid of the terror. Purges them. And the Ember Imp gets destroyed off of Be Gone. And Stunning Shadows here off of Blinding Light. Getting an Amber off that play. And Radiant Truth just for the Amber. And we got a board. And the Redeem coming into play there. With an action. Could capture two. He's also elusive. Looks like Christian got through his deck there already. Which is pretty crazy. But I guess with Sound the Horns twice, that will do that. So we got a Ritual of the Hunt coming in on an untamed turn here. That artifact will get an Amber. And that's an Omni. You can sacrifice Ritual of the Hunt for the remainder of the turn. You may use friendly untamed creatures. And you'll Nocturnal Maneuvers to kneel down, board in the Redeemed. 
And we got a cooperative hunting to deal damage to Borden the Redeemed since he only has one friendly creature in play. And that's going to be it for the turn. Justin does put himself in check, though. And we got another Brobnar turn here. So we got the three damage dealt here off his alpha there since he played it with more than three amber in play. Bingo, bang, bang on the right flank plus a second Grok. Does have two in the deck. Uh, he should be able to forge a key, though. But he's not forging. Uh-oh. So he's playing Lights Out, returning Grok and Bingle Bang Bang. He just realized, yep, he has to forge a key. So he caught it. Um, yeah, we'll send Grok back. Yes. And he gets an Amber off the Lights Out. And a Ghostly Hand just for two Amber. So back over to Christian here with his turn. And he's going Brobnar again. He keeps getting bounced in the hand. There's Pile of Skulls. He got it back. Bingo Bang Bang and Grok are back in. And the Scrapper Reaps going up to 5 Amber. And that's going to be it for the turn. So Justin going Shadows. So an Urchin coming in to steal one. Got a hidden stash for an amber, gets to archive a card. And now Justin is technically in the lead here. He's got five amber working towards the second key. Christian at four. And that'll be it for the turn. Over to Christian. And it sounds like we have a Logos turn coming here. Christian's going to play an Igor. Look at the top three cards. Choose one to keep, two to discard. And ZYX Researcher coming into play. Gets to archive the top card of his deck. And we got Pip Pip coming into play. So he'll be stunning some creature, enemy creatures as they reap. And then we got a bouncing Death Quark. So Urchin and Born the Redeemed will be bouncing Death Quark there. So he'll capture an Amber. And put it on Pip-Pip, thanks to Pile of Skulls. So Justin dropping in a Shuler, stealing one. And he's got a Life Web getting on Amber, putting him to check for his second key. I bet you'd like to see that life web with uh, a gateway there. So here's the sound of the horns. He got it back into it. He does have two in the deck, as we saw earlier. And he got to cuff the, cuff the quiets off of the sound of the horns. And a lollop on the left flank, followed by a Ganger Chieftain to lollop, who will fight into Schuler. Take some damage and capture another one. Put it on Cuff the Quiet, who is elusive. And we got three Reaps there off the other three Brobnar creatures. And Christian at check with seven. Keeping Justin off of a key. Justin needs to play as many cards as he can to try to get back around to that uh, gateway to Dis. He does have a three Fates also, but uh, that's not as hard of a hit, obviously. But will he be able to hold off Christian long enough? And will he be able to get a board going here or some way of getting Ambry? So we got another untamed turn here. It's a Dust Pixie. Getting to Amber, going to seven. Put himself in check. Life Wart, so Christian can't play any more creatures next turn. I don't think he's worried about that. He'll just probably name Brobnar and reap a ton. And it's over to Christian's turn here. He should forge a key. So 
So Christian does forge. Key number two has an amber remaining. Says he can't. Doesn't think he can stop Justin from forging. But I think he doesn't need to worry about that. I think he just needs to go heavy here, trying to get to his third key. He's got Grok in play, though. He could fight and lose and then capture one pile of skulls, which I think he just figured out there. Does two reaps. And three more reaps. Putting himself at check. And doesn't even need to play any cards from hand there. So Justin says Dis takes his archives. So he key hammers, undoes a key, and gives Christian back six amber. Very nice. Did he buy himself enough time though? I don't know. Oh, and a drumble! <laughs> After the key hammer, that's awesome. I'm sure Christian will get that back right quick. He has enough creatures in play to deal with that. But, there's a three fates. Okay, that'll help uh, thin the board out a little bit. So he gets some amber back by destroying a lollip, Kulf, and now he's got to choose between... Uh, yeah, I don't... Oh, between Ganger Chieftain and the Grok. I see. So he chooses the Grok, of course. And that's not a bad play. Wow, I did not expect that out of Justin. That was a crazy diss turn. Love it. So just like that, Christian's at one key. No Amber, technically. And Justin's in check for key number two with some Amber ready for key number three. Well, let's see what Christian's going to do to him here. <laughs> so he takes his archives. Drops down to be gone. Destroys all discs. There's the easy grab back for the... Drumble to get back his 12 amber, I believe. And Merrick the mark down. He discards the uh, harder they come. So Justin forges, gets key number two. And a too much to protect. Already finally saw one of them here. And Justin said, you know what's coming. Because they did get to see each other's deck list before the match. It is Archon. And there's the too much to protect play. Wow. I thought Justin was out of this. But just like that. We got a Miasma stopping Christian from forging the second key. And wow. So now, Snecklifter on Pile of Skulls. <laughs> Salt in the wound. And just like that, Justin sitting at, looks like, 11 Amber. Wow. I thought Christian had this. Thought he had it. Wow. But does he have a way to stop Justin? I, I don't know. I, I'm looking at his deck list here. I don't... International Graph. Too late. Oh, no. He did chuck that earlier, but he did get back into it again. Oh, wow. Thank you, everyone who supports us on Patreon. If you'd like to donate to the channel to help support the channel, improve these videos, help me get to more tournaments, to get videos like this for you, click the link in the description below. Thanks a lot for both players for playing on camera. That was an awesome game to watch. Great comeback. And lots more Keyforge coming up on the channel, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.